They have a blank stare. And if you have a blank stare, then that's just how they emotions Hey guys, one man, one camera here. Today is a uh, another bus ride, which actually was not intended. It is Saturday, March 14th, and I my my idea was to head to the Poker Palace, as I wanted to try their three-piece chicken meal for ten dollars and ninety-nine cents. When I got there, and I got to the uh, parking lot, parked the old bicycle, and uh, you know, I rock up to the front gate, to the, to the, towards the doors, and security guards are taking temperatures. Okay, fine. And then one of the guys, guard, says to the other guard, hey, you know, are we allowing backpacks inside anymore? All right now. Guy says, no, we are not. So I couldn't get in. I was kind of perturbed at this because uh, there was no sign posting, and um, I had checked the website earlier in the day, and there's nothing on the website either saying backpacks were not allowed. I told the guy I had been there before, you know, way back when, when I had the uh, their steak dinner or whatever, and it was no big deal, no problem. So I asked the guy flat out, I said, what happened? Was there like a big fight down here or a riot down here recently? So no, 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 no. Just the, G the GM said, uh, no, more, no, more, no more backpacks. And I said, well, do you have a check-in place? No, we do not. But they said, you can leave your backpack on the ground, basically, in between the little guard or security guard little shack thing and a trash can. Leave it on the ground, go in the casino, do what you want to do and come back and pick it up, pick it up. I did not feel at all comfortable with leaving my backpack on the ground even though I had to empty out my, I had two cameras that day with me and you know, a microphone and all that other good stuff and a little tripod and so on and so on. But I didn't feel good about leaving my stuff around. So anyway, so I didn't go in, I was kind of upset. So you say, well, why is this video? Well, I was just using my oldest camera on this day just to get um, some footage from the bus. But I just wanted to see how the footage would look as far as the um, you know quality and so on. I wasn't really planning on doing anything with it, but I figured what the heck now I got on film, I might as well show it. So anyway, blah. As most of you know, I live on the east side of Las Vegas. Some areas are very nice. Some areas, you know, you keep your hand on your gat just in case, right? Okay, so there you go. But there are numerous shops on the east side which do not allow folks to wear backpacks for example uh the dollar stores over here they're like oh no 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 you can't wear your backpack leave it on the ground on the floor by the leave it on the floor over here you know to the door really um one of the dollar stores they take your backpack and they'll put it behind the counter there's a uh, supermarket over here which i go to which they don't allow backpacks either they give you a number i'm sorry you go to one counter they give you a number and they put it on the counter and then there's uh, the department store Smith's, which is a big chain out here. The one over on Maryland Parkway. So I went there. Uh, this was a couple years back. I went there. And um, there's security near the front door once you walk inside. And she goes, oh, hello, sir. You know, um, please put your backpack in the, um, in the locker. I said, what are you talking about? So then I talked to her. Apparently, they have so much shoplifting going on over there. They just said, forget it. No more backpacks allowed. And they um, put up some lockers, you know, the kind where you put a quarter in. I think it was a quarter. You put a quarter in, you know, lock it, and then when you return to pick your stuff up, I'm sorry, when you return to get your backpack, put the key back in there, and the quarter returns. So I was surprised at that. So I guess in a lot of areas, or in some areas, just the thievery is just sky high, and they just don't trust folks with backpacks. So there you go. And I was disappointed with... Uh, poker palace because I couldn't get in there so you know I wasn't very happy so kind of a crappy day but there you go All right, anyway, so I'm on the bus, and we're going on the way to Poker Palace. So check this out. So this is the, uh, we're back on uh, North Las Vegas Boulevard. This big building right here, I think, I could be wrong, but I think that's going to be a new Amazon warehouse or Amazon fulfillment facility, I think, because they are expanding here in Las Vegas area. So look at that warehouse. It's gigantic. I could be wrong, though. It could be somebody else. Jerry 
little bit of a tour, get your payday loans going on, and over here you got chicas, bonitas, never been inside there, but I thought about it, and then you have the world famous, remember after this with the pawn shop, the world famous Palomino Club, which I have never been inside, and so there you go, but anyway, so North Las Vegas, a lot of flat buildings, um, what's this, Jerry's Nugget Parking, and so on. It's an interesting area. Most of the restaurants out here on this side are, uh, you find a lot of fast food places. You will find a lot of uh, Mexican food style places. I think there are some, I think a few Asian restaurants dotted along, along the uh, North Las Vegas and so on. But it's just, um, you know, interesting. And check this out. Check out the Arby's uh, sign. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. And this building right here, which is closed, that was a 7-Eleven, and they're gone now. Which kind of feels weird when a 7-Eleven comes and disappears, because I always thought 7-Elevens were money makers. Open 24 hours a day, and so on and so on. So, there you go. Kind of tripped me out that it was gone. So, as you can see, it's just a lot of little flat buildings, you know, I guess little mini strip malls or strip malls, whatever. You got your Burger King. And there's like, it's like, it's like a jack-in-the-box down the street and so on. So, anyway, like I said, this video was done because uh, I want to test the camera out. And I just put it up because I could not get into Poker Palace as I was wearing a backpack. Now, going forward, what I'm going to do is um, I have a reusable shopping bag. It's kind of old. Maybe we'll get a new one. And I also have a, uh, a backpack that's collapsible. I can fold it up. Hey, Silver Nugget, all right. I can fold it up. So what I'm going to do, I think, is um, maybe I will start using my collapsible backpack more often, and I will toss in the disposable or reuse reusable shopping bag. And when I go somewhere and they say, hey, sir, you can't wear your backpack, I'm just going to dump all my stuff into the reusable shopping bag, which is legit to carry inside, fold up the backpack, right, and drop that in there also, and just walk on in and just do my business and get on. Let's go ahead and let this guy ride out, enjoy watching the video. I'm going to keep the sound from the uh, bus on here. I'm not going to add any music to this thing. And you will notice it does it kind of rattly from hitting all the uh, rough patches of the of the, uh, of the the street here, which is kind of sad. You know, they really should need to smooth these things out, but I'm not sure where the money, <laughs> well, I'm not sure if they have the money for that, or if it is a priority to get all the streets smooth. In this area, anyway. All right, you guys. One man, one camera. Good way. Safe. See me outside. Say hello, and I'll say hello back. You all take care, wherever you are. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.
attention customers. You must pay fare to board. The RTC does not allow courtesy rides for any passengers. Transfer to multiple routes. 